Hey guys, how you doing? Ron's a nut here. I have a review for you today of the Reven 6 Eyes fan controller. Now this fan controller has been out for about a year and a half, but until recently it was very hard to come by. As soon as I found out that Performance PCs had them in stock, I asked them if I could uh, take a look at one to bring a review to you. So let's have a look. Alright guys, let's take a look at the packaging first. Now I gotta say, for a fan controller, when most of them come in plain black or just unappealing packaging, uh, I gotta say this is probably one of the coolest looking uh, uh, logos and designs that I've seen on a uh, package, especially for a fan product uh, and, and probably most other PC related stuff except when you get into cases and stuff like that. I mean obviously they, they really show stuff off there but for a fan controller, cool logo, classy design, uh, really nice packaging. Just uh, take you a quick look around the outside. Multilingual highlighting colors um, so real cool packaging nice and solid uh, seems as though anything inside is going to be pretty well protected and then uh, on the top right hand corner you see that there are uh, two models this happens to be the RFC-01WH this is the white version of it uh, these uh, Reven 6 size fan controllers come in black and white and they are both available at performance PCs so now let's take a look at the contents of the package. Just real quick to show you uh, how well they're packaged inside. It's got a nice thick uh, foam packaging on the inside here. You've got the accessories separated from the fan controller compartment itself and that fan controller is packaged inside of a uh, complete belly sealed in a plastic wrap. Well, let me get this stuff out on the table and we'll go through packaging. it one by one. We have the six eyes fan controller we have the instructions and parts list. We have the uh, adhesive to mount your uh, thermal probes and the four screws to mount the controller into your case. We have a power adapter cable that takes and passes through a Molex 4 pin to the um, small 4 pin uh, power connector that you need to connect up to uh, power this controller. That's the old uh, floppy disk power connector. We have a Reven uh, case badge or sticker and then we have six fan extensions and they're all 28 inches long and the fan extensions do have um, you know the uh, the labeling to tell you which fan you're plugging into and then we also have the uh, temperature probes they're also 28 inches long but one of the things that I wanted to show you point out to you is just some of the attention to detail. Not only uh, do the fan extensions have them labeled as to uh, you know what fan they are, but the temp probes actually have uh, labeling on them. This one, if you can see it here, this has temp one, and there's you know temps one through six, and they also give you an extra temperature probe uh, that doesn't have any marking on it. So that's pretty awesome. I wish uh, anybody providing any of these fan probes with their uh, fan controllers and kits would do this and not only do they have it at this end so when you plug it into your fan controller if you got to get in there and fumble around and disconnect it you, know, you don't have to go through and flag and tag it it's already on the connector and of course the other end is uh, up by the the actual uh, probe end is the uh, another label so uh, 28 inches long on your fan uh, extensions and also your thermal probes thermal sensors so uh, that's really cool all right, let's have a look now at the fan controller itself. Uh, the construction of the body of the fan controller is all solid molded plastic. This is all very thick up here, um, and it has uh, it is all one piece. This has got a couple of mounting points for your screws to mount the controller into your case. And then on the underside, we have the uh, model number of the unit. A pretty solid construction. Looking at the front. You can see that uh, they have identified the, each of the fan control points using Roman numerals. So we've got three on this side and three on this side. Uh, each of the uh, fan RPMs can be controlled by popping out the uh, button and adjusting it. And you can push it back in. And then we have the Reven logo here uh, molded in and like on a angled portion of the 
top of the front of the controller. And we'll take a look at the uh, displays when we power it up. Now going to the back, take a look here. Here we have six fan power connection points and the they are labeled on the circuit board fan 1 through fan 6 and we have the main fan power controller connection right here so this is your standard your old floppy power connector style 4 pin that you would uh, plug in there and you have six temperature probe connections they also are labeled T1 through T6 on the circuit card and we have here a uh, jumper to configure the display for whether it displays Celsius or Fahrenheit. Currently it's set to Celsius. If you jumper the center and the right pin together you'll get Fahrenheit. We have two uh, dip switches. The left dip switch controls the uh, warning. So this alarm right here will uh, sound if you configure this dip switch um, for uh, 55 to 90 degrees uh, if, if your fan or your temperature probes exceed 55 to 90 degrees and you can only do it in a 5 degree increment so you got to set this for either 55, 60, 65, 70 all the way up to 95 so depending on what you set it for if a temperature probe exceeds that you will have the alarm sound now here we have a dip switch here for the color of the displays and the colors that you can get are red, green, apple green, blue, purple, light blue and white and we'll take a look at those shortly and then this final jumper over here allows you to mute the uh, alarm so if you remove this jumper then the alarm will not sound uh, at all and then other than that you see the two circuit card design power the controller and connections and then power feeding the display alright so now let's take a look at uh, this controller uh, in action. We're going to go ahead and uh, power them up and we'll uh, check it out. So let's have a look now at the display. We're going to go from white to light blue to purple and we have blue. This one's called apple green and we have green and the seventh color for the display is red. Now they also have a dip switch setting that will turn the display completely off. Alright, so now let's take a look at our test bed setup. So what we have here on the bench are six noise blocker E-loop series fans. Starting from right to left, the three on the right are B12-P. Those are four pin PWM fans that are rated to run from 800 to 2000 RPMs and uh, fans on your left, 4, 5, and 6, are B12-3. Those are three pin fans rated to run at 1900 RPM. And one of the nice things about the Reven controller is that it provides those cable extensions to handle either four pin or three pin fan cables. Plus, um, I chose those because the white blades match the Reven controller. They look pretty good on the bench there. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to go ahead and adjust one of the fans down so you can see it in operation. Uh, I'm going to choose the fan in the lower right hand corner on the display. That's number six and that's fan all the way to your left. And then I'm turning the knob uh, from right all the way to left and it's a nice smooth uh, operation on that knob. And it went all the way down to zero and then once you got it to the end it actually says off. I don't know if you can see that on your little on this the, the little display there. Um, but it does say uh, off and so now what I'm doing is adjusting the uh, RPMs back up and on this fan once I turned it about 50% it's kicked on and then you turn it all the way to the right and it the knob does stop there now looking at the display the top three are the 2000 RPM fans and they run at about 15% of their rated speed and the bottom ones are their 1900 RPMs and they also are right at about that so it's uh, accurate reading. Uh, I have run those fans before on other controllers and that is exactly what uh, those fans actually uh, operate at. Now let's take a look at the uh, thermal setup and check that out. Uh, over there I have a sensor taped to a back plate and that's going to temperature probe uh, 1 on the controller and you see it there in the display reading 24.8 degrees C. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, laser uh, digital uh, probe here and what I'm going to do is point it at the back plate right next to where the uh, thermal sensor 
is taped, and I don't know if you can read that, but it says 25 degrees C. Now, I did this three times, and that's only about 2%, 0.2 degrees difference from what's reading on the display. Now, what we're going to do is check the uh, alarm, and I'm going to take that uh, heat gun and blow it on the plate while I have the display here pointed towards the thermal sensor so you can see the temperature slowly rise. Now, I have the dip switch set to go off at 70, and so once that happens, you'll see the display flash once it crosses the 70-degree uh, threshold. And also in the room uh, there, there is the audible alarm, and I tested that, and it does, and it is quite loud. So I can assure you. And also I checked it without the uh, uh, alarm set. I pulled the jumper off, and uh, the alarm did not sound, but it does flash that display to indicate that you've exceeded the uh, temperature threshold setting you set it at. So guys, there you have it, the Reven 6 size fan controller. What would you think? I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, it's well constructed. Uh, the features, the colors that you can choose from, the uh, temp settings, uh, the attention to detail on the, uh, you know, having uh, thermal sensors or probes that have the, uh, the number on them, you know, one through six marked on the connector where you plug it into your controller as well as on the end by the, the uh, sensor is great. Uh, I, I, don't, I haven't seen that much at all. And, uh, you know, of course, giving you the extra, all of the fan extensions, so in case your fans don't reach, uh, all a plus. But all that, that I would expect from most um, uh, fan controllers to include that nowadays. Uh, but the fact that they also have them labeled for you is, is, is great as well. Um, some of the things to, to note, uh, you know, certainly the temperature reading uh, through the controller was spot on. It was, what, 0.2 you know, two tenths off of uh, what the reading was I was getting. Uh, it worked uh, perfectly. You saw the uh, temperature uh, raise up. Once it triggered 70 degrees, the alarm went off. So uh, that was good. The controls for the uh, fans are nice. Uh, one thing that I would have liked to have seen is when you, on those dials, uh, knowing the full revolution of the dial, um, if they could have set a little notch or some, something that you could feel when you turned it about halfway, so that you can uh, not have to look at the display uh, to adjust your fan uh, RPMs down to 50% would be a good thing if you know you didn't have to be looking at the display to get there you could just feel it you turn it halfway and you know you were there but that's just a little nit is a minor thing because it would be nice if you could change the uh, colors or set the uh, temperature alarm uh, from the front of the unit if you wanted to change that you got to pull the unit out, out of your PC um, but basically, really, once you have your color scheme down and, uh, you know, and you figure out what you would like your thermal uh, alarms to be in your case, once you set them, maybe, you don't, you know, maybe you don't, you're not one that wants to go in and play with that at all. So that's a per personal preference. So anyway, uh, overall, I think uh, this uh, fan controller uh, was great. Having the ability to see all of your fan RPMs and temperatures uh, on one display without... Uh, changing dials to switch through fan readings uh, or temp readings is great. I had a, I have a Kazi Master Pro that I have to do that with and uh, I much prefer this. So on the Ronza Nut scale I would have to give this four out of five nuts. So, uh, so anyway, uh, for $49.95 at Performance PCs I think it's a great deal. So uh, if, you, uh, if you like this uh, fan controller you know where to get it. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and favorite. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe. That's it from Ron Zanat. Thanks for watching.